welcome to your chair class. Today we're going to use the chair to have a really deep stretch in different parts of our body. You'll need to sit on a chair, put the chair on a non-slip surface. If your knees, it's not 90 degree, you need the knees to be 90 degree to be relaxed. If it's not 90 degree like this, you have to step on a book or step on a block so it can be more relaxed. We won't sit on the back of the chair, we'll wiggle our butt away. Then use your hands to open the um, butt cheek and sit on your sitting bone. So with the knees 90 degrees, the spine straight, not leaning on the back, we're going to put our hands onto our knees. Bring the shoulders towards the ears, inhale. And exhale, open up the chest. Inhale, shoulders towards the ears. Exhale, open up our chest. One more. In, shoulders towards the ears. And exhale, open up our chest. Gently close and rise. Deeply inhale, expand the belly, breathe in, exhale, contract the belly, completely breathe out, deeply in, and out. In. And out. And and out. One more in and out. Relax the breath, feeling your hip settling onto the chairs, your knees relax. You have arrived on your mat. You have arrived on this broom of self-love. You choose to come to class. You choose to invest time on your body. Intention setting. Say what you really want for the upcoming week. Holding the intention. We are going to sing three of to start the class. Deeply inhale into the valley. Second, deep inhale into the valley. One more deep inhale into the bottom. Oh. Relax the breath, feeling the remaining vibration. And gently open up our eyes. We're going to do sit and cat cow. So hands onto the knees. Just a quick demonstration. This is what we're going to do. We're going to inhale. You can see that I bring the chest towards the knees and arch up, look up. Exhale, curl from the back, knee back. And I'm trying to put, push my knee back to the back of the chair without touching it and curl the belly button in. Then when I inhale again, bring the chest down and do it again. So when we're ready, sit to cat cow. Jesse, you may feel that you have more movement if you sit further away from the chair. Yes, yes, smart. So hands onto the knees. Inhale, arch your brain, the chest towards the knee. 
Open up the chest and arch up, look up. Exhale, curl from the neck, upper back, mid back, pull the belly button and chin towards the chest. Inhale, bend the elbows, chest towards the knee. Open up the chest and arch up. Exhale, curl from the upper back, mid back, lower back, pull the belly button in. Inhale, bend the elbows, belly towards the thighs, open up the chest, great job. Exhale, curl from the upper back, mid back, lower back, curl the belly button, curl, 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 curl. Inhale, arch your back, slow down the movement, so you can slow down the breath. And exhale, curl. On your own breath, four more times in, And out, you can close your eyes if you want. Inhale. And exhale. Deeply in. And out. Last inhale. And exhale. Slowly coming back towards the center. We're just going to look up and let our neck hang deeply in. Relax the shoulders. Let the neck hang more. One more in. And I'll bring the chin towards the chest. Relax the back of the neck. Relax the shoulders, lengthen the spine. Deepen in your inhale. Bring the chin towards the chest. Maybe interlace the fingers behind the head so you have more weight to stretch out the neck. One more in. And out. Slowly coming back towards the center. Still head, right hand up. Bend the right uh, ears towards the right shoulders. And hands onto the left ears. Open up. Neck. Deeply in. And deeply out. Slowly coming back towards the center. The other side, left hand straight and up. And bend the left elbow, put it on the right ears. And slowly bring the left ears towards the left shoulders. Deeply in. And deeply out. Slowly coming back towards the center. We're going to stretch out our arms. Inhale, hands up to the side. Hands stretching out to the side. And look up. Palms touch. Exhale, swim the hands down. Flip the hands the other way and slowly bring it down. Try to stretch your fingertips as further away as possible. Feeling the opening on the shoulders. Good job. Deeply inhale, hands up towards the ceiling. Palms touch. Exhale, flip the hands the other way. Bring it down as most as close to the bottom of the chair as possible. One more in. Hands up. Palms touch. Exhale, flip the hands the other way. Swim down. Touch the side of the chair. One last inhale. And exhale. We're now coming to side twist. The same. Inhale, hands up. Look up towards the ceiling. Holding both arms straight. Reach up. And one more. Inhale, still the same pose. Exhale, turn the body towards the right. Now hook 
open your hands to T-shape and twist. Put your right arm on top of the back of the chair. Hold the right arm on top of, on the back of the chair or on the other side of the chair so you can open up the shoulders. Yes, deeply inhale. You could relax the left hand onto the left knee, on, onto the right knee. So using the left hand onto the right knee, twist deeper. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. One more breath. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Slowly coming back towards the center. Inhale, arms up towards the sky. Exhale, turn the body towards the left in T-shaped hands again. Then left hand onto the back of the chair, right hand onto the left knee. So inhale, lengthen the spine, pull the belly button in, relax the shoulders. Exhale, twist. You're using the side of the chair and your knees to be in opposite direction, so you can twist deeper. One more in. And up, twist to the maximum low V on your left shoulders. One more round, slowly coming back towards the center. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, turn the torso towards the right. Left hands onto the outside of the right knee. Right hand on the back of the chair. Deeply inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist, look beyond your right shoulders. Deeply in. And out. One last deep inhale. And exhale. Slowly bring your body back toward the center. Hands up. Exhale, turn the torso towards the left. Right hand outside of the left knee. Left arms on the outside of the chair. Deeply inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist. Look beyond the left shoulder. Twist deeper. Two more in. And out. Last inhale. And exhale. Slowly coming back towards the center. Hands up. Now flex the toes, straighten the leg. So flex the toe and straighten the legs. Watch out, don't fall from the chair. Then slowly coming forward until your belly reaches the thighs and just let your neck. Hand, uh, hand. You could rest it on the calf, just to relax the neck. Shake the neck, no. Shake the head, no. To anything that doesn't serve you, shake the head, yes. You should feel a good hamstring opening. Deep breathing. And then try to relax your upper body more. Maybe deep inhale into the belly. Exhale, side out. One more in. And out. Slowly bring your body back up. Great job. Stepping onto the mat. Turn the chair onto the other side. So you are standing onto the other side. Yeah, you could remove the books for now. I'm just going to demonstrate this pose before we start. I'm going to stand hip width distance apart. I'm going to inhale, hands up towards the sky. Exhale, look at that. I'm hip just from my hips, and just from my hips. And I can either have my forearm or I can walk back until my chair touches it to open up my shoulders. So when you're ready, stand up tall and straight. Roll the shoulders up. Then hands up, inhale, hands up towards the sky. Lengthen the torso, reach up, 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 up. Exhale, hand just from the hips coming forward. Could be forearm, could be the L, could be the hands onto the chair. Relax your neck, shake your head, no. Shake your head, yes. 
feeling this amazing shoulders opening. Try to pull the back, pull the hips away as much as you can. You can micro bend the knees so you also feel a hamstring stretch. Deepening the inhale. And deepening the exhale. Push your hips back, lengthen the spine, same pose. But you're using this, the chair as like a traction to open up the shoulders. Two more deep inhale. And exhale. One more in. And out. Great job. Walk your hands onto the mat. And just forward fold, belly onto the thighs, hold onto the opposite elbow. You could sway left and right, left and right. Tell yourself how much you love yourself by waking up and coming to class. Instead of, you could watch TV, but you choose to work on the body. You choose to build spaces and release any tension. Amazing job. Grow yourself up vertebra by vertebra. And round two. Inhale, hands up towards the ceiling. Same thing. Exhale, hand just from the hips coming forward. The same exact pose. Stretch your fingertips away. I find it really helpful to open up my hands. So I remind my um, muscle to be active. Feeling the opening of the shoulders. Relax the neck. Shake it no. Shake it yes. You could micro bend your knee. Jesse micro bend your knee. Bend your knee a tiny bit. Yes, and push your hips away. So you are lengthening the spine. So imagine your hands is pulling you to one direction and your hips is pulling you to the opposite direction. So you're lengthening this one. Deeply inhale. And deeply exhale. Holding the pose, I just want you to rotate the elbows uh, towards the inside, tense up the shoulders, inhale. Exhale, relax the shoulders. Inhale, tense up the shoulders, roll it in. Exhale, relax. Inhale, tense up the shoulders. Exhale, relax. One more, inhale, tense up the shoulders. Exhale, relax for three more breaths. All of you try to walk your feet slightly further away. So you feel a more length, so you feel the spine lengthening more. Great job. One more breath in. And out, bend your knees slowly, walk yourself towards the mat. And bend the knees and forward, fold again. Open up the knees, hip width is in the part, maybe even higher. Hold onto the opposite elbow. You could stay here still. Or just way left and right, left and right. Relax the shoulders, relax the upper back. Relax your thighs, push your hips up as much as possible. So belly onto the thighs and push the hips up. Feel like the amazing hamstring opening. Hands onto the mat and straighten up. The knees, feeling the hamstring stretch. One more breath in. And out, gently roll yourself up. Then round three. Just look at the camera. This time, the differences that we're going to do is we're going to put our upper arm onto the chair, hands together, then we're going to Bend it and try to get our head through. So you could stretch the upper arm. So when you're ready, inhale, hands up towards the ceiling. 
You're walking slightly closer to the chair. Exhale, hinges from the hips coming forward. So walk until your upper arm get towards the chair. Yes. Then a uh, prayer, hands together. Bend the arms. Put the hand behind your back. Feeling this amazing upper arm stretch. Great job. My bro, bend the knees and push the hips away. Deeply inhale. Try to sink the chest down more. Also get the hands closer to the back of to your back. You'll feel a deeper stretch. Deepening the inhale. And deepening the exhale. Relax your neck more. Shake your head, no. And shake your head, yes. Feeling not just the armpit, but the shoulder blades opening. One more in. And out. Holding the pose here, micro bend your knees. I want you to inhale, push the left leg straight. Right knee bend. Exhale the other side. Like one knee straight, one knee bend. Yes, deeply in. So you're also working on your hamstring when you're working on the upper back, up, upper um, well, arms. Deeply in. And deeply out. Feel the amazing stretch with the help of the chair. Two more in. And out. One more in. And out. Amazing job. Walk yourself towards the mat. This time, we're going to walk our feet out to a squat. So hook the elbows onto the knees. Hook the elbows onto the knees. Palms in front. It's very common that we curl our back. We need to open up our chest and lengthen our lower back. Three breaths here. Deepening your inhale. And deepening your exhale. Deeply in. And deeply out. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Hands in front of the mat, stretches the feet up. Now roll up, vertebra by vertebra. Setting up for the thigh stretch. We're going to turn the chair the other way and bring the cushions to put it on the back of the chair. So I'm going to demonstrate, please look at demonstration before you go. Well, I'm going to have, um, yeah. So make sure you look at the demonstration. So hands onto the uh, waist, bend one knee, put the knees onto the chair, but I'm trying to get it, wait, Jesse, don't do it yet. I'm trying to get it to the back of the chair as much as possible. This is trying to, if there's a heavy hard bit on the, on the back, it's trying to push a bit. So trying to get it at the back as possible. Then hands onto the hips. I need to turn it forward again because usually my hips will be open. Forward again. And I'm going to use my toes to wiggle the other feet forward. In the whole time, you look straight and bend the knees. The more you bend this knee, the deeper this thigh stretches. So bend the knees as much as you can. Then when you want to come back up, strengthen up the knees, you need to work out the feet in and step it away. So when you're ready, stand in front of the mat, of the chair, maybe slightly closer. Take your time. Yeah. So hands onto the waist. We'll start with our left knee. Bend the left knee, right leg strong. And very slowly put the left knee onto the chair. Try to get the feet 
closer to as close to the back of the chair as possible. Then hands onto the waist. My hips is now open to the side, bring it back towards the center. You should already feel the left thigh stretch here. Hands onto the waist. If you can wiggle your feet, right, left feet, right feet, sorry, left, right feet further away. Bend the knees. Deeply inhale. Hands onto the waist. So you have this micro action of bringing the uh, right hip forward, left hip back. Deeply in. Look forward and out. Bring the elbows together at the back of the back. So you're opening up the chest at the same time. Two more. If you can bend the knees more so you feel the thigh stretch more. Deeply in. And deeply out. One more in and out straight to the standing leg. Wiggle the standing leg back and release the knees. Coming onto the other side. So hands onto the waist, bend the other knee, put it onto the chair. Try to get the cup as close to the back of the chair as possible. And hands onto the waist to square your hips again. Wiggle the standing feet away. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle until you feel the stretch on the thighs. Deeply inhale. Try to open up the shoulders and bring the elbows towards the back. Deeply in. And out. Bend your knees more for two more breaths. Feeling the thighs opening deeply in. And out. One more in. And out. Straight to the standing leg. Wiggle the feet back. And step down. Amazing job. Second round. This time, just to show you, if you want to go deeper, after we go here and work on the feet forward, by the way, you could, when you have your hands, have your hands pointing upwards, so you could open up our chest. Do you see that when I bring my elbows in the back together, I'm really opening up my chest? So you could stay here. If you want to go deeper, you could grab the back of the chair, really depending on the height of the chair, you can grab it. Then bend forward. So not only you're opening up the thighs, you're also opening up the chest. So when you're already standing in front of the chair, hands onto the waist, and one knee, put the knee towards the back of the chair. This time you will want the feet or the calf to be in the middle of the chair. And bend the front knee, wiggle the front toes away. Deeply in, open up the chest. With your hands first. And out. And then we we'll go further away. If you want to try reaching, circling one arm, see if you can reach the back of the chair. Yes, circle the other arm. See if you can reach the back of the chair. Yes, then bend the knees deeply in. So you feel an amazing stretch on the thighs where you are putting it on the chair and also the chest opening. Two more deep inhale. And exhale, look up a tiny bit so you could open up the chest more. Last inhale, bend the knees to the maximum, feeling the thigh stretch. And exhale, straighten up the knee, wiggle your toes closer to the chest and step down onto the other side. Bend the other knee, put it close to the middle of the chair. Hands onto the waist. Wiggle the standing feet forward. 
and bend the knees, deepening the inhale. And deepening the exhale. Now, if you want to go deeper, circle the arm and touch the back of the chair, grab it. Circle the other arm and touch the back of the chair. Then bend the knees deeply in. And deeply out. Look slightly upwards to open up the chest. Maybe let your neck hang. So you feel the chest opening more. Two more breaths. Wiggle your toes further away. And bend the knees so you can feel the thighs. One more in. And out, strengthen the standing like wiggle it back to the chair and release. You could remove the cushion, shake it out. Great job, girls. Last three poses. Just a demonstration, we're going to come to a pigeon. I'm going to step one feet onto the chair. Look at it first. Then I'm going to have one hand onto the chair, hands in front, wiggle until your calf it's onto the edge of the chair and hands onto the seat of the chair and work on the other leg up. Then the correction is this micro movement of brain, this hip forward, this hip back, so I'm like a uh, square. So you could be here, like relaxing the neck. You could also walk your hands onto the back of the chair and open up the chest at the same time. So let's all do it. So step the feet onto the chair, whatever, like, and wiggle the feet to the side, hands onto the seat of the chair. Put the uh, calf parallel. Yes, put the calf down. Yes, perfect. If the chair is too hard, you could put the cushion underneath your calf. Then you wiggle the standing feet away. And micro movement to square your hips. Deeply in. Just so you could wiggle your feet further away if you can, the back feet. Yeah, yes. Then hands onto the back of the chair, relax your hips deeply in. Let your hips sink and out. This is a really good way to do pigeon because your thighs, your calf, it's relaxed onto the seat of the chair. So your hips could relax more. Should be able to feel your hips opening. You could either stay here or you could have hands onto the seat of the chair. And if you have a chair that has like a hollow hole like me, you could even lower yourself down. Deeply inhale. And deeply exhale. Two more breaths. Stay here or come back to pose number one, whatever that you like. If you're in pose number one, try to open up the chest more. Put your hands straight. One more in. And our hands onto the sit of the chair. Step the knees back and shake it up. Amazing job. Now, go to the other side. Um, Jesse, I think uh, you should use a cushion so you have more support and more surface area because you have like a hard chair. Yeah. Step the other feet onto the chair. Now, we're going to put the calf on it. Hands onto the seat of the chair. So your calf is onto the edge of the chair. Yes. Then wiggle the other feet back. Yes, yes, perfect. Look forward. Check that your hips are square. So pull the hips. Pull for the bare knee, pull that side of the hip, hip back. For the straight leg, pull that side of the hip forward. You could hold here. This is variation one. We're going to be here for six breaths. 
So deeply in. And deeply out. Deeply in. And out. Another variation is to have the hands onto the back of the chair to open up the chest. Deepening your inhale. Relax the thighs, which is close to the chair. So you're relaxing the hips, letting it open. If this is too intense for you, you could step back for a break and join us again. Deeply in. And out. Either stay here if you have a chair like me where there's a hole in the back, you could come to the elbow. Deepening your inhale. The three postures work on different part of the lower back. So it doesn't really matter which one do you say. One more in. And out. Hands onto the seat of the chair. Step back and shake out the legs. You may want to even rotate the hips. Bend um, the feet. Roll circles with the knees. Feel the hips opening. And when you're ready, coming back down. We'll come to this uh, pigeon again, but now let's go to upward dog and downward dog. So demonstration time. I'm going to really open up my hands, put it onto the seat of the chair, but very close to the edge. Then after I have opened it, I'm going to step back, 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 until I'm in a plank position, then I'm going to come forward for upward dog. Look, notice the correction is my belly button doesn't touch the chair. It's not here. It's up. And I'm going to roll my shoulders up and back away. So I'm using the chair to help me open up the shoulders and open up the chest. And I'm going to look up and let my neck hang. So when you're ready, we're going to have hands onto the edge of the chair, face, finger facing forward, really open up the palms. Oh, you need to move, remove the cushion because it's not stable enough. Yeah. So open up the palms, open up the palms. Yes. Then walk the feet back, back, back. Yeah. Then let's try this. Inhale, bring the chest forward. Look up. Get the chest open. So Jesse, your chest is now here. You need to bring the chest up and open. It may mean that you need to walk your feet back. Yeah, we're going to feet back. Yes. Yes, much better. Deeply inhale. And deeply exhale. Adeline, open up your chest. Look up. You're trying to curl the back as much as you can. Then exhale, bend the knees, bend the knees, push back to this downward dog on the chair. Open up the shoulders, letting your belly relax. One more in. And out, coming back to upward dog, coming forward. Shoulders towards the ears, open up. Push, 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 push. So you're Straighten your knee actively so you can draw a bigger circle. Great job, Evelyn. Great job, Jesse. Jesse, try to look up a bit more. Open up the chest. One more in. And I'll bend the knee, push back to downward facing dog. For the next three minutes, you're welcome to either stay in upward dog or stay in downward dog, or you want to go. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. You could stay in the pose for just what, half a breath or one breath or two breaths. Listen to the body. Closing the eyes, moving in the way that your body wants you to move. Maybe you want to stay in a particular pose because it makes you feel really good. When you Identify muscle tension in a pose. Stay there for a few breaths. Send and exhale to the muscle tension. 
whatever you are, just remember to breathe deepening your inhale and deepening your exhale. Deeply in and deeply out. Deepening your inhale and deepening your exhale. One last breath in and out. In this next round, you could choose to either open up your hips one more time with the pigeon pose, or you could choose to open up the shoulder one more time when you turn the chair to the back. So like, so you could choose option one to repeat this pose to work on the shoulders more, or come to pigeon to work on your hips more. Choose what your body wants. Now when you have made a decision, whatever you are, come to the first side. So choose the pose that you want to do. Could be pigeon, could be the shoulders opening, whatever that you feel like. Deeply inhale. And deeply exhale. Deeply in. And deeply out. One more deep inhale. And exhale, slowly coming back up, whatever you are. Then switch to the other side, or switch to round two if you're doing shoulder stretch. Deepening your inhale. And deepening your exhale. Deeply in and deeply out. One more in and out slowly, whatever you are. We're coming to forward for three breaths. You could have your feet together and just let your body relax, or you could have your feet uh, hip width and apart, hold onto the opposite elbow and sway. Pick a pose that feels the best to you. Relax your shoulders. Three breath in this pose. Deeply in. And deeply out. Deeply in and deeply out. One more in and out. Slowly roll yourself back up. One last pose before so fast enough. If you haven't, you will need to put your mat in front of the chair because we're going to uh, lie onto the mat. Or if you don't have a mat, could be a carpet, anything. Look at the demonstration first. We're going to come to um, bridge pose with the help of the chair. So this is how it looks like. Do not go yet. So I'm going to have my calf onto the chair. And then what I want to do is I'm going to lengthen my neck. Neck is straight. Hands onto the side. When I inhale, I'm going to use my calf to push, push, push my hips up. Walk my feet forward into the chair and interlace the fingers behind the back. Tuck the shoulder blades in and come 
to a bridge. Then slowly, when you're ready, very gently relax your hips and lower your hips down. So when you're ready, if your chair doesn't have a hole like me, you need to wiggle yourself further away. Just the feet onto the chair. So when you're ready, lie onto the mat. Making sure your neck is long and straight. Tuck the shoulder blades in, hands onto the side. Inhale, we're going to lift our pelvis, pelvis up, 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 up. Then walk the feet onto the chair, straighten it. Yes, interlace the fingers behind the uh, hips. Tuck the shoulder blades in. Push the pelvis up. Push the pelvis up. Deeply inhale, three breath. And exhale, push the pelvis up more. Open up the chest. Your chin is now towards the chest. You're trying to get the pelvis away, up, up, up towards the sky. Using your hands in the bottom to help you push one more in. And out, relax the hands very slowly, lower your hips. Slowly, gently. Then bring your knees towards the chest, give yourself a big squeeze. When you are ready, we're coming to round two. Feet onto the chair. Make sure your neck is tall and straight. And when you are ready, lift the pelvis up, 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 up. Then walk the feet onto the chair. Really lift the pelvis up. Contract the butt at the back. Then hands underneath the hips, interlace the fingers, tuck the shoulders in, push the pelvis up, yes, look up towards the ceiling, deeply in, push the pelvis up, get the butt gripping, imagine if I put a paper in between your butt crack, you will hold it, squeeze your hips, squeeze your hips, push your pelvis up, one more in, and I'll relax the hands slowly, lower your hips. Bring your knees towards the chest, give yourself a big hug. Last pose before Safasana, happy baby. Flex your feet, point it up towards the ceiling, and have your knees by the side. You could wiggle left and right. We'll be here for three breaths. Could be in stillness or rolling to massage your lower back, whatever that feels good. Deepening your inhale. And deepening the exhale. One more in. And out. We'll have Savasana on the chair. So you would relax the calf onto the chair and just relax the body. And onto the side, tuck the shoulder blades in so the shoulder blades is completely onto the mat. Closing your eyes. Relax your 10 toes. Relax your ankle. Relax your calf. Letting the chair fully support the weight. When your calf is relaxed, your thighs are more relaxed. Relax your hips. Relax your lower back. Relax your meat back, letting it sinking onto the mat. Relax the upper back. Relax the shoulder, feeling it relaxing and sinking onto the mat. Relax your whole round. Relax the top of the shoulders. 
your neck, relax your head, your jaw, and the eyebrows. Completely letting your body sinking onto the mat and the chair. Savasana. Slowly coming back to the room. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, interlace the hands overhead. Give yourself a big, big stretch. Flex the feet and pull the feet up. And then the knees roll towards the right hand side of the chair. And when you're ready, slowly push yourself back into a sitting position on the mat. Whatever comfortable sitting position. Relax the shoulders. Lengthen the spine. Observe how your body feels. After this really deep chair stretch, we work on every part of the body. The shoulders, the neck, the waist, the lower back, the thighs, the hips, basically everywhere. How does it feel when you have invest time and love for your body? Three deep breaths, deeply inhale, feeling your body with new energy. Exhale, letting any muscle tension fade away. Inhale, new energy towards the body. Exhale, letting any emotion slip and fade it away. One more inhale, feel the body with new energy. Exhale, letting go of anything that doesn't serve you. We are going to sing one Om and three Shanti to end the class. Deeply inhale into the belly. Om. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Hands in prayer position in front of our heart. May our heart be filled with peacefulness, gratefulness, and happiness. Bowing forward, Namaste.